Uh, maybe not now. Also in this pool, though, we have Kamo Shio, the number three Yugo in Japanese arcade rankings, as well as DM Willpower, who's a okay. strong DJ player from California. So this is pool, as you said, C26. We're going to see what VX has to bring, and Street Fighter being a Marvel specialist. Yeah, well, right now, I can already tell you that PRL, very aggressive with Sakura. Already just walking forward a lot, got VX all the way into the corner, but then ah, jumped into the corner herself. So now Sakura is the one stuck in the corner. So now it's to VX's turn to try to apply some pressure. You know, for those of you new to fighting games, the reason why it's so bad to get put in the corner is just you lose a lot of backwards movement, which you can see builds a lot of space and gets you out of pressure situations. When you put yourself in the corner and don't have that ability to go backwards, it's, it's the opponent has that much more control. But right now, VX doing a great job just playing this kind of zoning keep away game, throwing those fireballs, those fuhajins, and Nice, good stuff with the anti-airs as well. And again, PRL got that corner position and then immediately jumped into the corner. Something that I'd like to see changed in PRL's game plan has to be a little bit more cognizant of the screen positioning. Yeah, he's having a tough time getting through what jury strengths are. PRL, Sakura, that's a character that wants to get in, start mixing you up, start forcing counter hits and all, and, and, re and really get into your head. Yeah. Jury's able to just control the pace. She builds meter like a champ, throwing those fireballs, and she's got great long buttons. You see there, the strong air-to-air, uh, -air, just to stop the approach. And she's uh, no slouch on the offense in her own right. Yeah, especially with Ultra 1, anytime she has the opportunity, she can activate the Feng Shui engine and really start the pressure going. But she just hasn't taken enough damage yet to build up any Ultra, so that's a good problem to have. Oh, here comes PRL. Let's see what he can go. Just goes for the standard two light attacks and the throw attempt. One of Sakura's biggest strengths, of course, is the frame trap game. Yes. So we need to see PRL start establishing that if he decides to continue using Sakura. It looks like that is what he's going to do. Here we go. See if he makes any adjustments here against VX. VX really hasn't had any reason to go try to do anything crazy yet, you know? Mm -hmm. He's been playing a very standard jury game, and it's been working. Here comes PRL. Gets his combos. Combos down. Nice. Standing roundhouse to chase that back dash. Oh, got in there. Okay, big opportunity here. Let's go for the meaty fireball. Then corners herself again. Yeah, I just really wish that PRL would be more paying attention to the corner stuff. Yeah, he's letting the positioning go and not getting a lot out of the, uh, the mix up that he goes yeah. for here. And here comes that Feng Shui engine. Let's her chain into a bunch of attacks, including her overhead into and out of. Very difficult to block if the jury plays it right. From moment to moment, PRL is doing okay, but it's like you said, overall, strategically, he's got to think of a game plan as to how he's going to end the round. And really good reactions from VX to, to know when PRL wants to go for that fireball. He's managed to get over that with Jury's dive kick a couple of times now. Very clean setup from VX, yeah. opens him up. Okay, just gets out of there. It's okay that it only hit once, it's yeah, just good positioning. That was well chosen, I think, from DX. Might have really been expecting that. I'm not sure what that FADC was going for there. Maybe he meant to dash forward nice. and just missed it. Quick 2-0 from DX. All right, there you go. So VX is going to advance on the winner's side. Again, we are just starting the C pools. Uh, I do believe if you go to Ultra David's Twitter, mm -hmm. at Ultra David, yeah. he tweeted out a link to the brackets. You'll see it's like an SW Amazon link or something yeah. like that. So you can follow along the brackets if you want to. Uh, I also retweeted that on my Twitter as well, mm -hmm. at Jay Chenzor. So um, you can check that out. Also, I know that on uh, Shorukin.com they're doing a live blog right, as right. well. Updated automatically, no need to refresh. Yep, so definitely head over there to check that out yeah. as well. So. So uh, like you said, this is the C set of pools. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll take a minute while we have our next players coming up and, and sure. look down the list of uh, notable players and see who we have here. Okay. 
courtesy of, of course, uh, Mr. Ultra David. Yeah, we, we love that guy. He, he helps <laughs> us out with technology and pulls us down. So oh, technology. That was C26. Yeah, okay. uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, C1, we have PH Jaime, who's a strong Ken player from California, okay. slash Metroid is in that pool. Okay. And C2, we have Wolf Crone. Okay. No, needs no introduction. Right. Uh, down in C4, there's Kendabu, strong Japanese player, can play lots of different characters. He's been kind of on and off in Street Fighter 4, but CVS 2, he was absolutely yeah. one of the best. So he's a strong player, and he definitely can adapt to the game. A former EVO champion. Former Kendabu, EVO champion. Yeah, and CVS 2. Mm -hmm. uh, and also in that pool is Jewel Man. Very oh, strong nice. Honda okay, okay. from the uh, United States, one of the best. Good stuff. Uh, in C5, we have Taiga. Very strong Yun from uh, Japan, <laughs> number four in the Japanese arcade rankings. And C, C, that was, that's C5. And C6, Sabo Hani, uh, the number seven Viper in Japanese okay. PR, uh, Japanese arcade VP rankings. Uh, and Nando, California and El Forte players, pretty good player okay. as well. Okay. And C7, who will have this round, Justin Wong. Ooh, nice, okay. Blue Blazer in his pool. This is a strong T-Hawk player from Canada. And I don't think it's a lot of fun for Rufus to fight T-Hawk. <laughs> yeah, and I know Justin, though, has been, he's feeling really confident coming to this, had a long yeah. practice session with his EG teammates. So All right. I'm really curious to see how he's going to look mm -hmm. this tournament. C8, uh, Chirithi, very strong oh, candy yeah, player yeah, yeah, yeah. from Canada. Mm -hmm. You've seen him if you watched any of these uh, Toronto streams. He's done very well for himself, particularly in tournaments. Very strong yeah. tournament player. And uh, also in that pool, C8, there's Cross, another Japanese Marvel vs. Capcom 3 player. Very, very well known for his Marvel vs. Capcom 3. But coming up right now, we yeah. got pool C20 in. Who do we have? We've got Dogura from Japan. You guys might remember him as the second place finisher of Blaze Blue last year mm -hmm. in that heartbreaking, but really just one of the greatest grand final matches that I have seen in fighting game history mm -hmm. was amazing stuff. Yeah. Uh, he lost to Galileo, Darkness. and he's going up against Dark Darkness from USA. Darkness! Mm -hmm. And Dogra, you know, he's come out to the States a couple of times, you know, mostly to yeah. play a lot of the anime games and such yeah. like that, but um, he's entered a lot of the Street Fighter tournaments as a very